Welcome to Junkyard Haunts, where we turn trash into hunts. Today we're going to be making another plant. I'll put up a link to one of my other plant creations I've made. But this time we're going to be basing it off of Alice in Wonderland, one of their talking flowers. Ours will not be talking, unfortunately. We're going to be making the face of the plant, and then large petals to go around it. Uh, to make the face, I am actually taking a tiny little skull and cutting it flat just so it lays flat. And then using cellulose clay, which I've used in the past, to actually model, mold the face out of it. I'm using the tiny skull just so I get a good size for it. Uh, I was hoping when I put it on that the, the clay would actually mold to it, but it didn't work out very well. So instead I'm just using my marker and wire to actually mold the face out of it. Uh, I put another tiny skull next to it just so I get its right dimensions and sizes. Uh, another nice thing about cellular clay, since we're using to mold with it, was actually that it's very light. And because I am molding it on top of another skull here, it actually is even lighter because it's basically hollow inside. And I'm also going to be making the stem with uh, cellular clay, just taking some wire and then thickening it up with the extra cellular clay I have and making it round. And that will be what the actual flower connects to. Now to make this look more like a flower, we're going to be using some milk jugs and a heat gun and actually just melting it straight onto the cellular clay and cutting off the extra to kind of make the rose look like it uh, actually folded across the face a little bit. But we're making sure that the, we get our milk jug plastic actually kind of hot so that we can use this the tweezers that I have here to actually push it down into the cracks of the flower. So now we're going to be taking a lot of milk jugs for this thing and cutting out these uh, nice shapes here. Uh, the best way to describe them I guess is kind of a heart with a flat end and then we just fold them up. We need four of them for the smaller size. I'm actually making mine I think a little too big. Uh, it still turns out good but I think if I was going to redo it I would make those little flower shapes the first ones smaller. And you just cut out four of them the same size using uh, a milk jug. And then we just kind of bend them with our finger and then we get them into the shape that we need which is uh, hard to describe but if you just look in there you can see that it's kind of the leaves part are folded and then the actual stem part is folded as well and we just glue those leaves on to the actual face and now we're going to repeat this process by cutting slightly bigger um, slightly bigger petals this time with more milk jugs and we do the same bend and get just as many the four and this time when we glue them on to the actual flower we just move it over so it's in between each of those petals where they connect and you just hot glue them on and to make sure it actually dries in, spa uh, in place I'm actually just using some masking tape just to tape it together and then I'll remove that masking tape after that hot glue gun is dry if your hot glue gun isn't running as hot as mine, it would probably just dry faster and easier. But I don't have controls in my hot glue. I make props every Monday, so make sure you subscribe to follow along and see what I make. Also working with another YouTube channel using uh, their music to play in the my background. So I'm going to let you listen to a little bit of that. Uh, the link is in the description if you'd like to learn more about his channel. most part we used a lot of these other techniques that you have just seen while I played music of actually using some rocks as weight 
uh, using a small container for the actual base um, and then I'm just gluing on uh, the candle holder and putting a rim around it to make it look more like a flower pot and then just paper mache that all together so it stays nice and firm and hard and again what you saw is just some more paint just uh, using some plastic spray paint to get a nice black coat to go around it obviously we don't want a black flower so I'm just taking some red and actually hand painting over it and I'm always painting in the same direction always painting from the center and stroking outwards so it looks more um, natural I guess I'm making sure you get on all the details I like this better than just have a spray painting all red uh, just because that black will show through and it kind of gives like a nice little texture to make it seem more realistic because just a flat uh, black spray paint or a flat red spray paint would just make it look solid in, in one color where in nature there is many textures and colors within it so even though I do put a second paint of red or a second coat of red paint on it uh, it's good because that black will still even show through even after that second coat. Now to do the actual pot, I just go ahead and paint that up as well and just do a dry brush of a darker paint. But the, the part that makes it look really cool is the actual mulch that we put in the base of it. To, uh, I just pour some glue in there regular white glue and then put some mulch around it and then put regular white glue on top of it and spread that around and that becomes really hard and it won't fall out and I feel like that adds so much it makes your plant look like it's actually potted in a real pot so that helps so much and then the last details is we're just gonna go ahead and paint in our flowers eyes and a little bit of white dry brush around the flower just in, in little parts and just put a nice little pupil on. Well, thanks for watching that video. Make sure you hit subscribe and share with all your friends. Make sure you leave a comment below. Tell me what else you would like me to make in the future. Also, I have some older videos where I made some plants. I made an eye lichen. And I made an apple, killer apple, vines coming out, sharp teeth, really awesome. So if you like this one, go back and check out those two ones to see other plants that I've made. You know, Alice in Wonderland's actually kind of creepy. I mean, a flower with a face? Ew. Can you imagine if we see that in real life? Or if like everything talks like an Alice in Wonderland? I would not like that.